Your spiritual giftings were hand-picked by God. He equipped you to glorify him in a unique way that only you can do. So we live uh, near Detroit and, you know, it's Motor City. And so there's this awesome museum that we're actually members of. It's called the Henry Ford Museum. And we go there all the time. And my son, he's three, he absolutely loves it. One of the things he loves is the car exhibit because they have so many different interesting cars. And uh, we were there, I don't know, maybe it was a couple months ago. And he saw a drag racer right? Like a really, one of those really long cars with the two big wheels on the back. And it's just like long, 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 and pointy. And he laughed. He said, look at that silly car. And I remember thinking, it is a silly car. If you think of a drag racer, it is a silly car because you wouldn't drive that on the road. That would be silly. But the drag racer is not a silly car when you consider that it is custom designed for one very specific task. A drag racing car is made to be the fastest it can be on a short track. And I think that the, the same thing can be true of us and how we think about our spiritual gifts. You have been supernaturally prepared for a very specific calling. And, and, and your unique giftings uh, supernaturally through your spiritual gifts and even your natural gifts, all those combine those things that make you you. Were, were designed by God so that you could glorify him in a super unique way. And so if you do try to pursue these other endeavors where, where, where you're not really suited for it, you know, you're, maybe you're not gifted um, to teach the word, for example, and you're more gifted in, in administration, right? And you're constantly trying to, trying to, to take on teaching things. Everyone's saying, ah, you know, that's, that was pretty good. I think you're improving. But the truth is you're not actually gifted in that. Well, what happens is you're, you're neglecting the thing that you are gifted in. And you're like uh, one of those drag racers driving out on the main roads, looking ridiculous, right? We, we need to lean into the things that we've been called and equipped to do. And by so doing that, you will be more productive in glorifying God with your life. God has chosen specifically how he's going to outfit you to bring him glory with your life. And so instead of always looking over your shoulder or looking, you know, oh, what, how is that person gifted? Oh, that person's more talented than me. That person can do this. I wish I can do that. And focusing all your attention on your weaknesses, I think there's real wisdom in, in zeroing in on what are the things I already have. If the objective of my productivity is to bring God the most glory with my life, then man, shouldn't I focus on the way that God has equipped me to glorify him uniquely? And that's where your spiritual gifts come in.